Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the leprosy causing bacterium, Mycobacterium leprae. Our first general characteristics of Mycobacterium leprae. Mycobacterium leprae is a weak gram positive bacteria due to the presence of mycolic acids, lipids and waxes in its cell wall. And it is coming under the category of acid fast bacilli and it is also called as Hansen's bacillus. And regarding the shape, it is a rod shaped bacilli, but sometimes it is pleomorphic in nature. And it is non motile in nature, and its size is ranging from 1 to 8 micrometer in length and 0.3 to 0.5 micrometer in diameter. And it belongs to the family Mycobacteria capsules absent. Endospores also absent. The mode of respiration observed in the Mycobacterium leprae is microaerophilic respiration. A microaerophilic respiration means the organism requires oxygen, but the oxygen amount will be very little only. And this Mycobacterium tuberculosis are intracellular parasites because they are unable to be cultured on an artificial medium. The optimum temperature required for the cultivation of Mycobacterium leprae is 27 to 30 Celsius and the optimum pH is 7 and it is normally found in air, water and soil. Uh, the Mycobacterium leprae has a long generation time of about 12 days and it was discovered by Gerhard Heinrich Armer Hansen. Uh, he, he was a Norwegian physician and this, back, this bacilli was discovered in the year 1873. Next, the disease transmission of Mycobacterium leprae occurs from one person to another person by infectious airborne nasal secretions or droplets or aerosols. Virulence factors of Mycobacterium leprae. Uh, virulence is the ability of the microorganisms to cause an infection or disease and the virulence factors are the factors uh, which are responsible for causing an infection in human beings. Uh, there are three virulence factors which are responsible for causing Mycobacterium leprae infection or leprosy. They are uh, phenolic glycolipids, two secreted proteins and lipoarabinomannan. The first virulence factor of Mycobacterium leprae is phenolic glycolipid. And this phenolic glycolipid induces the apoptosis in Shivan cell a possible explan explanation for nerval damage in leprosy patients. And the she one cells are the cells in the peripheral nervous system that produces the myelin sheath around the neuronal axons. The second virulence factor of Mycobacterium leprae is two secreted proteins. They are early secretory antigenic that is 6KDA proteins and culture filtered protein 10. Uh, these both secreted proteins uh, prevents the fusion of the phagosome and lysosome. Uh, such mechanisms enable mycobacteria to survive within the immune cells. And the third virulence factor of Mycobacterium leprae is lipoarabinomannan or LAM. And this lipoarabinomannan is the lipoglycan in the cell wall which inhibit the antigen presentation and prevents the release of interferon gamma it is a macrophage activating cytokine. The incubation period for Mycobacterium leprae is 5 to 20 years and the infective dose required to cause an infection is variable. Pathogenesis of Mycobacterium leprae. Mycobacterium leprae enters the body usually through a respiratory system and after entering the body Mycobacterium leprae migrates towards the neural tissues which are present in the central nervous system and enters the Shivan cells. Uh, bacteria can also be found in macrophages, muscle cells and endothelial cells of blood vessels and after entering into the Shivan cells or macrophages, Mycobacterium leprae starts to multiply slowly uh, because it, will, it takes about uh, 12 to 14 days for one bacterium to divide into two uh, within the cell and get liberated from the destroyed cells and enters other un and, and enters into the other unaffected cells. Uh, till this stage, a person remain very free from the signs and symptoms of 
leprosy. As the mycobacterium leprae multiply, bacterial load increases in the body and infection is recognized by the immunological system. Uh, lymphocytes and histocytes or tissue macrophages invade the infected tissues. At this stage, clinical manifestation may appear as involvement of nerves with impairment of sensation or skin patch. If it is not diagnosed and treated in the early stages, a further progress of the disease is determined by the strength of the patient's cell-mediated immune response. In person with strong cell-mediated immunity, uh, the mycobacterium leprae causes tuberculoid leprosy or pure neural leprosy. Uh, in this condition, a uh, granuloma formation occurs in the cutaneous nerves and the cutaneous nerves swell and get destroyed. A uh, severe inflammation may result in caseous necrosis that is uh, a unique form of cell death in which the tissue maintains a cheese-like appearance uh, within the nerves. A mycobacterium leprae may escape from nerve to the adjacent cells at any time and cause classical skin lesions. And finally, a good cell-mediated immunity successfully limits the disease to the nerve Shivan cell, resulting in the occurrence of tuberculoid leprosy, which is considered as a very mild leprosy. In a person with depressed cell-mediated immunity, uh, the mycobacterium leprae causes multibacillated leprosy or lepromatous leprosy. The mycobacterium leprae entering the Shivan cell multiply unchecked and destroy the nerves. Also, the mycobacterium leprae liberated from by the infected and destroyed cells or engulfed by histos, uh, histocytes or tissue macrophages and the mycobacterium leprae multiply inside these macrophages and travel to the other tissues through blood lymph or tissue fluids and the bacterium mycobacterium leprae results in two clinical diseases one is tuberculoid leprosy and the second one is lepromatous leprosy leprosy is a chronic infection that affects the skin and peripheral nerves leprosy is also called as hansen's disease the spectrum of tissue involvement is influenced by the patient's immune status. And the tuberculoid form of leprosy is milder and is characterized by hypopigmented skin macules. But the lepromatous form of the leprosy is associated with disfigured skin lesions, nodules, plaques, thickened dermis and involvement of the nasal mucosa. And this table shows the difference between the tuberculoid leprosy and lepromatous leprosy. Uh, the tuberculoid leprosy is also called as pure neural leprosy and the lepromatous leprosy is also called as multibacillary leprosy. The cell mediated immune response is very high in tuberculoid leprosy but it is very poor in lepromatous leprosy. Uh, regarding the pathogenic growth, the tuberculoid leprosy is restricted to the pathogenic growth because it is in localized form but uh, lepromatous leprosy are essentially spread all over the body because it is coming under the generalized form. The severity of the tuberculoid leprosy is very less severe but the severity of the lepromatous leprosy is more severe. Next, uh, skin lesions. Uh, 1 to 5 lesions were observed in the tuberculoid leprosy with little tissue destruction, asymmetrical and definite loss of sensation. Uh, in lepromatous leprosy, more than 5 lesions with marked tissue destruction uh, towards symmetrical and loss of sensation is observed. And regarding the nerve lesions, only one nerve is involved in tuberculoid leprosy but in lepromatous leprosy, two or more nerves involved. As symptoms, uh, tuberculoid leprosy causes a large single red patch with well-defined borders or a large hyperpigmented spot with a spot which is asymmetrical in shape. Uh, lesions will appear dry and hairless. Uh, some may be associated with loss of sensation. Uh, in lepromatous leprosy, Early symptoms of lepromatous leprosy can be nasal stuffiness associated with discharge, uh, bleeding, swollen legs and ankles. 
Uh, furthermore, affected individuals may also have several lesions including plaques, macules, papules and nodules, uh, which is often followed by thickening of skin over forehead and air lobes, loss of eyebrows and eyelashes, uh, misshaping or collapsing of the nose and falling off of the upper incisor of the teeth. Number of acid fast bacilli is very few in tuberculoid leprosy, but the number of acid fast bacilli is many in lepromatous leprosy. Uh, regarding the immunoglobulin levels, the immunoglobulin level is very normal in tuberculoid leprosy, but in lepromatous leprosy, it results in hypergamma globinemia. Uh, erythema nodism are absent in tuberculoid leprosy, but they are usually present in lepromatous leprosy. And finally, lepromin skin test shows positive reaction for tuberculoid leprosy and negative reaction for lepromatous leprosy. Laboratory diagnosis of mycobacterium leprae. The first diagnostic method is microscopic examination. Under acid fast training or zeal Nielsen method, uh, the mycobacterium leprae was observed as red colored acid fast bacilli. And in motility test, the non motile cells were observed, and this image shows the red colored acid fast bacilli of the mycobacterium tuberculosis. And next, uh, bacteriological index is an expression of the extent of bacterial loads, whereas morphological index is calculated by counting the number of solid staining acid fast plots. The results are expressed as 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, and 6 plus. The 1 plus shows at least one acid fast bacilli in every 100 fields. 2 plus shows at least one acid fast bacilli in every 10 fields. 3 plus shows at least one acid fast bacilli in every fields. 4 plus shows at least 10 acid fast bacilli in every fields. 5 plus shows at least 100 acid fast bacilli in every fields and the 6 plus shows at least 1000 acid fast bacilli in every fields. Animal culture of mycobacterium leprae. Mycobacterium leprae has not yet been successfully cultured in vitro uh, but it can be grown in laboratory by injection into the food packs of mice. It is a slow growing pathogen with the doubling time of 14 days. And next the lepromatous skin test. Uh, two lepromatous skin tests like Fernandes reaction and Mitsuda reaction are used for the identification of like identification or diagnosis of mycobacterium leprae. The both Fernandes test and Mitsuda test shows positive reaction. Uh, first Fernandes reaction. The Fernandes reaction is analogous to tuberculin reactivity and appears in sensitized subjects uh, 48 hours after skin testing. Positive reaction is characterized by the appearance of localized area of inflammation uh, with congestion and edema uh, measuring 10 mm and more in diameter during 24 to 48 hours of injection. Uh, these lesions disappear within 3 to 4 days. A positive reaction suggests that the patient have been identified by mycobacterium leprae bacilli during uh, some time in the past. Uh, next, Mitsuda reaction. A Mitsuda reaction is characterized by development of a nodule at the site of inoculation after uh, 3 to 4 weeks after testing with lepromin. Uh, the nodules subsequently may undergo necrosis followed by the ulceration. Uh, this reaction is indicative of the host ability to give a granulomatous response to antigens of mycobacterium leprae and is positive. The immunodiagnosis methods used for the identification or diagnosis of mycobacterium leprae are latex agglutination test, ELISA test, FLA-ABS test or fluorescent leprosy antibody absorption test. Uh, regarding the molecular analysis, polymerase chain reaction or PCR can be used as a means of diagnosis of leprosy and also as a tool for drug assessment. Finally, treatment and prevention. Tuberculoid form is treated with rifampicin and dapsone for 6 months. Uh, clofazimine is added to this 
regimen for the treatment of lepromatous form and therapy is extended to a minimum of 12 months. The preventive and control measures includes early diagnosis and treatment, vaccination with BCG vaccine, chemoprophylaxis and finally health education. Dear viewers, that's all about the mycobacterium leprae. Thank you for the support. Thank you.